Oh, it's that easy. Hi everybody, it's Bea here. Welcome to my YouTube channel where I talk about software engineering stuff. So I'm very excited about this video because I got to talk with my friend Robert about his interview experience with Google. And let me clarify that Robert did get a full-time offer from Google. Now his interview experience was for a new grad software engineer, but everything that he talks about is still applicable, whether or not you are applying for an internship or you're past the new grad process, uh, especially for the technical portion section, which you will have no matter what level you are. I do want to highlight my my subscriber Eastlock Airlines who just sent me the sweetest DM ever saying that he got a graduate software engineer position at Amazon and it just made my day. I'm so happy right now. Anyway, I'll put his DM here somewhere here. I'm very happy. You know, uh, I had a friend once that told me that I look like Jeremy Lin and I was like, oh, okay. And, <laughs> and then what she meant by it is that good looking from far away, but not, <laughs> not really. <laughs> Okay, so, so we so have it's to better if I'm behind the couch. <laughs> behind the wall. Hi everybody, it's Bea here and I'm with my number one fan. I I'm think Robert. Yes. Robert. Yes, I'm the, I'm the OG fan. So how did you get first of all get the interview with Google? So you I went on Google and I typed software engineer full time at Google. For Google and then I applied to the first one that popped up okay. with my resume. Yeah. I didn't even bother writing a cover letter, so... Dang. Okay. It's not that common to write cover letters. It's not. It's not. I, I was too lazy, so I was like... It is. Literally every single new grad probably applied <clears throat> to Google. So I'm, I'm generally surprised by, via like a cold application over the internet. But that's amazing. So mm -hmm. a month after, send your application, cold apply. One month later, what was that email? It says, uh, hello, uh, thank you for applying to Google, we, we're very excited, and then uh, and the excitement kind of ends because they sent me a link to a coding challenge, <laughs> so, uh, and then I opened it and then I was like, oh, okay, you know, interesting, so it was an hour and a half of, of coding, I think it's two, two questions, okay. uh, so pretty pretty standard. One one is e easier and then the next one is a bit harder. Okay. So it's usually like one they're all about legal mediums. Okay. All about legal mediums, yeah. But one is a bit harder. Uh, and then you submit it and then you kinda of just you know, <laughs> do your prayers and then and then you wait. And it's an hour and a half. So hour did you how 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 did you allocate your time? How quickly <laughs> did you solve the first one? You can go back to the different problems. I just looked at the two problems yeah. quickly. Uh, so I allocated about 30 minutes for the first one okay. and then an hour for the last one. I know you said you could media, mm. but like what kind of problems should they more focus on? Uh, for me, I got kind of a string questions. Okay. Uh, but I, I've talked to other people and yeah. they've, they've gotten, it's very distributed. Yeah. So, but if you go on Google, I mean, lead codes, Google section, yeah. it's, it's under there because I found oh, really? both my problems under there. Dang, okay, <laughs> okay, so what happened? What happened? Um, How long did it take? For it, you it took problem? like another month for them to get back, which is quite a bit. Yeah, uh, but that's what, quite slow. You're supposed to actually get a, a phone screen, Yeah. but they kind of just skipped that for me. So they just sent me an email when they say, hey, uh, here's try and schedule your, your last, your final round on site. And I was like, okay. Was it unprompted? Why did they skip you? <clears throat> Sorry, why did they skip a phone screen? I have no idea. They, the, the recruiter just called me and he just said, Hey, um, we'd like to have you on site. I'm like... I'll take it. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, and then, but usually I know is you should you will have one phone screen before you go to the on site. Okay, so a month later they're like, let's schedule it. And then what? What was next? Um, you schedule an interview and then you, you fly to wherever your interview location is. And it's a pretty standard full-time engineer interview at the, at the big companies, mm -hmm. which is consists of about five rounds of coding, or one hour each round of uh, all coding. All coding. So Google is all algorithms. There's no system design. There's nothing. It's just all algorithms. Okay. And and, and just all like straight up hard algorithms. Yeah. Yeah. Was it the lead code hard? So there are definitely you, you should expect lead code hard. So okay. there are Lico hearts and uh, it's Lico medium to Lico hard. Okay. Yeah. 
And all different kinds of questions. All so different strings, kinds, of, yeah. From strings graphs. to graphs, right? Even to like threads, all those stuff. Um, it's it's because uh, the problems I've gotten in Google, I've never yes. seen them anywhere on on Big Code. Okay. So they're all either original or you know, or they have their own set of question bank, right? And yeah, they're all algorithm. They're based off of algorithm, so know your algorithm very well. Got it. What time did you go there, and then what time did you leave? My interview was at nine. Yeah. Okay. And then I left, so I had three rounds, and then I had lunch, and then two more rounds. Okay, and an hour each. Hour each, yeah. Jeez, that's actually brutal. Yeah, and oh, there's a there's a lunch interview or lunch interview. They don't interview. They just yeah, it's like take, a culture fair. Yeah, they take you around the office. They give you some food. They yeah. you know, calm you down. You kind of cry a little bit, and then, <laughs> and then you go on. Okay, and so did you feel like you passed every single interview? Absolutely. Not. Really? Absolutely not. Okay, so you so I feel like they might be more forgiving then. Like as long as you pass, maybe I don't know how many how many interviews, but just because you bomb one doesn't necessarily mean you feel out of it. Yeah. Sorry, let me just if you guys are confused, Robert actually got an offer from Google, so that's why I'm asking all these questions because you know sometimes you feel like you completely like not all companies will fail you out of the process if you fail one of the interviews especially for something like full especially for a full-time interview because five interviews in a row all the code like all hard algorithmic questions is pretty tough i don't know how many people could sustain that and do like just kill every single one of them yeah. but i'm doubtful that that a lot of them do and they still have to hire people like Bea said right you you it's okay to fail, no, do really badly in one, as yeah. long as you do well in the other ones. And don't, I don't, the most important thing is don't let that affect like the next ones. And, yeah. But usually, you know, you do get affected because you, after one, you're just like, holy Jesus crap, you know, like, that was not good, right? Yeah. But then you just reset, go to the washer and wash your face. And, yeah, the, the, the thing I keep in mind is that I just think that, you know, worst case scenario, yeah. they say no, which is, you know, okay, you know it, it's, it's, Bad, but you know it's a good experience, right? You take that and you move on to the next one. Exactly, and it's and you could also think of it as like good practice. Exactly, it is good practice. Is there something consistent between Google interviewers that that is kind of different versus like other companies? Mm, that's a good question. Um, I think they are looking into the way you solve problems. They want to care about your thought process. A right. Lot. Some other companies they. Now you can kind of just talk about it, but at the end of the day, if you just write the code, they'll look at it, they'll be yeah. like, that's fine. But they re Google, they really care about how you arrive at that solution. They really want to see how you break this problem down, how you tackle it, and they yeah. really want to see how you uh, like kind of ask more of the problem, to clarify the problem. Because okay. the problem they give you is actually very uh, like open-ended, yeah. uh, so you, you really got to like dig your way to the actual problem. Like You right. got to know the constraint, because yeah. If you don't know the constraints, the problem can be 10 times harder than what it actually be. But if you just ask a couple questions, uh, you dump down the questions by a lot. You, you actually narrow it down by quite a bit. Got it. So what I gather is that they kind of ask like big <coughs> questions. Yes. And then you yourself have to know the right questions to ask. Exactly. Yeah. Which is just as important. Yes. They, they want that's they want to kind of uh, so how I think is that they want to imitate you know in real life because you give them big yeah. problems that you, you want to kind of really understand what you're actually trying yeah. to solve uh, as opposed to just jump into it without kind of clarifying because they ask you a really bottom one like you know yeah like, sort sort this thing right yeah. but, you, but you don't even know what this thing is yeah, you're trying exactly. to do so you want to be able to make sure that you clarify and again just ask the right questions uh, there's like do not be afraid to ask questions but you also have to be careful to ask the right ones yes for example the right question to ask would be uh, something like why are we using postgres versus mysql mm. that's a solid question to ask the wrong question to ask is so why do we need a database yes. for this app they're like wait do you not know what a database is for yeah. stuff like that so when you encounter something like a graph problem or a sorting problem you have to ask like how, how do you want this done? What do you want sorted? Is it only numbers, right? Yeah. Can it be letters or can it be exactly. some things like that? Because otherwise, because they'll give you, just say, oh, you're given a string. Right? But you can say, is this just numbers or is it characters? Is it mixed? You know? So I think the most interesting is just how focused they are on algorithms. Data structures 
less so. The, the problems that I, I've gotten, it's it's not those problems where you kind of have like a one data structure and you kind of solve it. Like yeah. in a BFS, you always use the key, right? Or you just use a stack yeah. and you solve yeah. the problem. It's more of a, you know, you actually gotta really think. It's, it's, yeah, it's some problems you don't even need a data structure to solve it. It's yeah. literally just about how you apply logic and how you solve it. So that's one thing I really noticed about Google that was really different from all the other companies. And they don't ask about system design at all. Like they don't even care. The recruiter even tells you that, oh, don't worry about it. Wow. I wonder if that's just a new grad thing though. <clears throat> Maybe, I, I would say yeah. so. I, you know, oh, I think I for, for sure, for sure it's a new grad thing. Because yeah. if you're experienced uh, higher, they, they have to ask you. To you. Design, yeah. Cool. And then, <laughs> so you went through this full-time interview. You flew all the way to Mountain View. How did you feel at the end of it? I felt tired. Tired. But it was a very good experience uh, seeing, being with, interviewing with Google, right? It, yeah. I think it was, it was a very good experience. There was learning, cause there's a lot of things that I, I didn't know. Yeah. And then afterwards, I was like, oh, well, I really need to brush up on this. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and then I was like, oh, I, yeah, I should definitely like focus more on algorithms. Yeah. Because before I was just practicing like, data structures, data structures, data structures. Yeah. So after that, I was kind of just like, okay, yeah, there are a lot of things I need to work on. Uh, but overall, it was, a, it was a good experience. It was really like positive. I didn't feel like even though I didn't feel like I did good, right? They didn't make me feel. I don't feel shitty about it. Good. I came out. I was like, oh, you know, you know, that was a good experience. Yeah. Yeah, regardless of the result. That's awesome, dude. Did you have <coughs> more interviews after that that you had to do? Yes. As well. So after that, I did an interview with Microsoft. I see. Yeah, that did was a couple months later. Okay. Did you feel like you performed like a lot better during Microsoft, or you were more ready? Maybe not. I was. Better. I was. I was definitely more ready. Yeah. Yeah, I was definitely more yeah. ready for Microsoft. And more and different interviews because <coughs> just because you're more ready doesn't again necessarily mean doesn't you perform. Yeah, yeah. There's so many well different ready. factors, right? Yeah. Cool. And then so after that interview, how long did it take for you to hear back? It took me actually quite a while. It was a couple Archie. months before I, before I heard anything back. Archie. And then what was that like when you got when you got there? Uh, did you I, like sigh for leave? I was kind of just like. Why? I was I, I didn't think it was real. I thought it was a scam email. You keep thinking that, dude. That was a scam. Email. So I was like, oh, that was, uh, that was too good to be scam. <laughs> scam. So when you realized that it wasn't, what went through your mind? I think it was just like, oh, um, wow. Like, I was I was surprised. I was like, oh, really? I think I was a bit conflicted because yeah. I, I wanted to stay in Vancouver. So yeah. Tough choice. Yeah. yeah. Any final words about your? Any tips for people? For uh, one tip I would just say, okay, well, first of all, is just study up on your algorithms yeah. very well. Uh, and probably that's that's the only thing you should study for for your grad at Google. Uh, and other than that, it's just, you know, you have got to go in with the mindset of having nothing to lose. I like that. I like that. I, I also feel the same way. It's like the moment that you're there, there's literally just nothing. <laughs> You could lose yeah. and everything to gain because you don't have that job yet. Yeah, it's like There's worst not. thing is you know, they say no, which is you know you 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 haven't gone backwards. Yeah, right. You, exactly. You, you like, and you've the only job. gone better because of all this experience that exactly. you got with yeah. this interview yeah. as that's, well. That's that's for every interview too. Is that yeah. you really have nothing to lose. Yeah, and you can always reapply again. Cool. All right. Thanks, guys. This was our Google interview. This is Robert again. And yeah, thank you for this so much. I'm sure that you, you've helped a lot of people, you know, prepare for their Google interviews. I've actually learned a lot. I didn't know that they, they first of all, for new grads, I didn't know that they just had five algorithmic questions. Yeah. So I, I also learned a lot. I've never interviewed with Google. Cool, now I know in the future. Anyway, I hope you guys find this video useful. And if you do, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell button because there will be more interviews.